or it's like almost you're not a real American. I'm not a street cop. I'm not. I'm not going to pretend to be. These the officers in Portland, in Minnesota, in Seattle, and across the country that went through hell. My heart goes out to them. I. They didn't deserve any of the stuff that they went through. And a lot of people want to say, well, what about those guys? They are freaking heroes too. They deserve credit. They deserve honor. They deserve respect. Every single cop this summer that was met against Antifa and the vicious rioters this summer, they absolutely deserve the credit and respect those officers do. They don't deserve it. Just like on January 6th, it seems like it can't be this and this. It has to be this or that. Mm -hmm. It's both of them. Why can't both things exist? Both things are true. You think they're shifting the blame? Or shifting, at least trying to shift the focus from what happened? Listen, there, we can deal with many things in this country at the same time. And if something happens, it doesn't mean that you go, oh, well, what about this? What about that? Can't we focus on what happened on January 6th where our democracy was in jeopardy? We this, should be. This, is, this weren't just people who were, who were exercising... Um, some of them were exercising their right to protest. Mm -hmm. Others went way too far. That's a different story than trying to undermine democracy and stop an election. And, that, and that's kind of what, what bothers me a little bit. Even just the footage that they just played and that you showed from the Fox News clip, um, Laura Ingram showed footage and Tucker Carlson show, showed footage of um, the individuals walking through the stanchions. But they didn't show the footage of the outside, the tens of thousands of hours of footage of the brutal combat that officers faced. First Amendment protests is what this country is about. The First Amendment, the Constitution, like, that's the democracy of it. But once you start attacking people, attacking things, then that's wrong. Mm -hmm. and, that, and you know what? That goes to the riots this summer. They were wrong. If you peacefully protest, then sure. But the riots and the, the violence and the damage this summer, they were wrong. Mm -hmm. They were wrong. And that's the exact same thing that happened at the Capitol. But their goal was to overthrow democracy, which is a bigger threat to America. Yeah. The Department of Homeland Security is warning about uh, the possibility of more violence in the next few weeks, because as you know, there, this, there's this white right wing conspiracy theory out there. Guys, 100 percent, 100 percent. I 100% agree with this police officer's assessment of both the Black Lives Matter riots and the January 6th riots. Um, this officer, I mean, you know, he seemed like a legit guy. I mean, he, you know, shouting out the police officers is out there in the street, out there in the field, trying to keep the country safe, you know, while at the same time acknowledging what happened on January 6th, how unruly that was. But as... This officer was equivalenting the January 6th riot to BLM riots, which happened a lot more frequently. Don Lemon quickly comes in. I don't know if somebody was coming in on his earpiece telling him to do it, but Don Lemon comes in. He tries to soften that statement that the officer made by saying that BLM rioters, they're just protesting and some people just got out of hand. And that's what the left and mainstream media will do. They'll say... Well, yeah, people are just exercising their First Amendment right. But some people just took it too far because they don't want to come out and publicly attack their base audience, which is those people who are throwing firecrackers, trash cans at police officers, people who are making these sanctuary cities where no police officers are allowed in Oregon and Washington. So it's no surprise to me that Don Lemon did that. But this police officer, I mean, he's absolutely right. When I saw the January 6th riots for the first time, I knew that the left was going to use that as ammunition to, to demonize conservatives, Republicans, anybody who supports Trump. Um, and that's why I discourage any type of actions that could be considered similar or equivalent to the actions that we see from BLM rioters, Antifa, progressives, because we're no better than they are if we're out destroying things and breaking things when things don't go our way. You know what I mean? I will say, though, that the reasoning behind the Capitol riots was a lot more legitimate than the BLM riots, but all the same, it's still wrong. And then Don Lemon comes in and it looks like toward the end of the interview, 
toward the clip I just showed you guys, he just kind of changes the subject, right? Because the officer says it again. You know, he's saying that <clears throat> the capital riots are wrong, but and, and people have the right to express their First Amendment, but the capital riots were wrong. And that also goes to the BLM riots that happened in the summertime. Don Lemon completely changes direction and start talks about something else. You know, you, in the camera, you don't see Don Lemon's face to see, like, you know, his facial expression as the officer is making that statement. But you know that Don Lemon doesn't agree with that, you know. And most people on the left, they don't agree with that. They support the BLM riots. You know what I mean? They support the the reasoning behind the BLM riots. You know, the celebration um, and the remembrance of, of criminals who resisted arrest. Uh, CNN, Don Lemon, and liberals, they support that. And so, it's no shock to me. I mean, Joe Biden does it all the time. You know, instead of just calling the riots what they are, they always try to soften it. And just say, hey, people, you know, calm down. You have a right to express yourself, but there's no need to get out of hand. When, in fact, the BLM riots have caused more damage to everyday Americans than the Capitol riots. Another point that I wanted to bring out is that there was a female, I think she was a veteran, Air Force veteran. She was shot during the Capitol riots. Uh, I think she was trying to enter a doorway or something like that. One of the Capitol Police officers shot her in the neck. I think she died on, um, on the scene. When you look at these BLM riots, where these people can literally walk in stores and empty out the store of all this merchandise. People, the rioters, they can throw firecrackers, cherry bombs, trash cans, molotovs. They can get inches with, within two to three inches of the police officer's face. And none of those police officers would dare raise a firearm if they even have it on them. I don't know if you have a firearm while wearing riot gear. But assuming they do have a, a firearm with live ammunition, you would never see a police officer raise his, his, the barrel of his gun to a, a BLM rider. But a conservative, someone who, who is fighting on behalf of the country and what they believe is right, you know, you see the difference in treatment. And basically, guys, the reason I'm doing this video, guys, is because it is a double standard when it comes to conservatives and liberals. What liberals can get away with versus what conservatives can get away with. And as the progressives, they push their agenda. They're trying to move. They're trying to move the country away from conservatism, and be more accepting of uh, people committing criminal acts. You know what I mean. But when conservatives do it, it will always be viewed as an act of white supremacy. It will always be viewed as racism, undermining the country. When BLM rioters are calling for the defunding of police every day. They're undermining law enforcement every day. They're making an active effort to undermine the normal society that this country was built off of every day. It's on their website, on their about page. So in closing, I'll say this. Guys, it's not about which riot was worse, whether it was the January 6th riot or the Black Lives Matter riot. What the progressives are fighting for is to make the criminals who are rioting and looting in the name of other dead criminals, that's acceptable. Not in our eyes, but in the normal person's eyes who doesn't look at politics every day. That's what the progressives are fighting for. They want to make black people, Antifa, right, Black Lives Matter, they want to make their cause socially acceptable. They want to make that the norm. And they want to turn the country away from traditional values, family, voting rights, standing up for your flag. So any protest that's done in the name of traditional values will always be viewed as white supremacy, racist, police brutality, uh, um, bigotry and looting and rioting in the name of criminals who resist arrest will always be looked or anything that's anti-police rather will be looked at as freedom liberating 
there will always be a double standard. And the way to overcome that is for conservatives to stick to facts, to stick to logic and reasoning and following the process of our country and our political structure. That's the only way. You can't take a party or, or ideology that's based on facts and dumb it down to the level of a political ideology that uses emotion to get what they want. I could be wrong about this, guys, but I don't think I am. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section box below. Like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more content.